Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we're going to create a card with the Spellbinders and Fun Saber's Journey Stamp of the Month Club Kit. Um, this month's club kit is called Bold Beautiful. So this should be arriving pretty soon in your mailbox if you're a subscriber. And if you'd like to know more about the Stamp of the Month Club Kit, I'll leave a link down below. But this, they're quality red rubber. This month you get a frame and that centerpiece pops out to where you can put single images in there and stamp all at once, which is great. But you know what? That centerpiece could be used for um, ink details too, just using a solid ink um, ink pad. I think that that's really neat too. Your sentiment is, is beautiful. It's the only one in the set. But then the rest of the images are some beautiful flourishes. If you love creating backgrounds, you're going to love this stamp. I think flourishes are so nice for so many occasions. Um, birthday cards, um, um, sympathy cards even, um, thank you cards, get well cards. It just, I love flourishes. You can go as far as brights, bold, organics, softs, and I love the options that um, flourishes give. There's swags in here and then some full uh, flourishes, but there's also a single flower that could layer on top of that swag and then some single leaves too. So for today's card, I thought we'd create a background with some of the smaller flourishes in here. One of them has little, little circles on the end, which could be used for berries. So we're going to use that one and then we're going to use a leaf flourish and then I'm going to use a flower. I thought we could color in the berries one color, the leaves will be green of course, and I wanted to bring in one extra color. So that's where the, the single flower would come in. So my panel size is a standard card front size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I chose Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp my, um, I messed up here, I'm gonna flip it over, <laughs> but to stamp um, my background. Even though the images are small and it looks beautiful, even just black and white, um, I wanted to color in my image. So um, Memento works great for my Copic markers. Um, basically, I stamp the the berry one first and then I'm going in with the leaf image, just twisting and turning so um, I can fill in all the open areas. And um, I was going to leave the center open, you know, because that's where we're going to put our sentiment and we really, really don't need that filled in. But I went ahead and filled it in just for visual purposes, I suppose. <laughs> but I'm going all the way to the end of my panel, um, even stamping off a bit too. In the areas on the end and the corners where I, I did miss, no worries because we're going to trim our panel down um, a quarter inch on each side. But isn't that pretty? Just black and white too. I think it's just gorgeous. We'll do a few more. Squeeze this little floral in there. <laughs> and I think that's going to look great. Okay, now we're going to do some coloring. I sped the coloring up really fast and chopped most of it off just so you could uh, um, get the gist of it. <laughs> but I'm going to start off by filling in the leaves. And I wanted my leaves to be two-toned, so I have two tones of green. My darkest shade, we're going to add accent to the bottom of the leaves on the the flower image and also the, the green leaf floral image. Once I have my darkest color down, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my next color of green, which my darkest green was my G28. And now I'm going in with G24. And we're just going to blend those colors together. Okay, once this is done, and you'll notice I missed a few leaves. My eyes go all over the place when I color in backgrounds. Okay, so I have my green markers handy. Next, we're going to dot the berries. I thought blues would be perfect. So I'm using um, a blue Copic marker. My blue is B34. After my berries are colored in, we're going to highlight our flowers with a corally color. This is R22. And then after we have the highlight color down, we're going to fill in those flowers with a lighter coral or orangey color. This is actually our R12. It's a light tea rose. But that's my background. I think it's so, it, to me, it, it says vintage. I don't know. I just love the way it looks. <laughs> okay, I have another piece of cardstock. We're going to stamp our frame and then our sentiment inside our frame. I Just to make sure I didn't, um, since it is a larger frame, I didn't 
want to go heavy handed. So I'm bringing in my Misty. I'm going to, I took out my, my mat that goes in there and then we're going to ink it up again with Memento ink. The nice thing about the frame is it's, you could heat emboss this with gold embossing powder. I think that'd be gorgeous, but you could fill it in with any color you want also, along with your sentiment too. I'm going to ink that up as well. And for my frame today, we're going to color in the frame with two green Copic markers, the same two greens that we use for our flourishes. So I have my darkest green is G28. I'm going to add that to the very bottom. And then my G24, I added to the top just for a little gradient. Um, the two blues that I use for my sentiment, um, the lightest blue was B. Oh, oh, and then I added a gradient with the darker blue, which is the B34. Okay, now we're going to trim down our panel. I'm going to basically take a quarter inch off of every edge here, just so I have a little bit of a white border on my card base. If you are a subscriber to my channel, you know that's what I like to do. I love frames and white card bases. <laughs> Okay, those are all trimmed down, even the beautiful panel is too. Now this is last month's Stamp of the Month Club Kit. It's called Sentiment Stacks. And I wanted to complete my beautiful sentiment, so I thought this um, stamp set would work perfect. I chose a sentiment that says, oh hey, for a little playfulness. And then I also chose, you got this. I'm stamping on some black card stock with Versamark ink. And then we're gonna add some white embossing powder. And we're gonna go ahead and melt that. I wanted these, the oh hey and the you got this to be bold on my card. I thought the oh hey, oh hey beautiful, you got this. Um, I thought that would be a little playful, but yet inspi inspirational. <laughs> I'm just going to use my scissors here and trim down these two sentiments. I'm kind of getting as close to the words as I can. I'm going to try and squeeze them in between the layers of the beautiful there. Once I have these trimmed down, we're going to go ahead and flip them over and add foam adhesive behind them. Give this a little bit of dimension. Trim that down a little bit more. <laughs> this one too. If it was too thick, I was afraid it would cover up the letters. So I think this is going to work great. Now we're going to flip them over, add our adhesive. And then I also am going to bring in some fun foam and we're going to pop up our background panel on the fun foam. Before we add the fun foam though, I am going to wrap some black twine around the background panel we created three times actually. And then I'll tie a bow to the left and then we can flip it over and then I can add my um, fun foam behind it. This way the twine is tucked behind the fun foam and it's nice and clean looking on the back there. We're just going to even it out. We're going to pop up our beautiful panel too with some foam tape. And then that's going to go in the center of our floral panel here. We're going to lower it just a little bit. Once I'm happy with this, we're going to flip over this at our fun foam. And then this is going to go on a standard A2 size card base. We'll just remove the release paper. Grab our card base here. Make sure it's opening the right way. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I've had my my panels put on upside down so many times. <laughs> so now I check all the time. Okay, I went ahead and add my oh hey, and also you got this. And then just for a little added touch, since it's a pretty busy background, I thought some clear bubbles would go perfect. So I added um, five of them, two by the bow and then two in that top right corner. But that, and then I'm gonna bring in some um, of my um, Nouveau Aqua Shimmer pen and fill in um, with a little sparkle, the beautiful. And then that finishes off my card for today using the Spellbinders um, stamp, Spellbinders and Fun Stamper's Journey um, Stamp of the Month Club Kit called Bold Beautiful. If you're interested, links are down below, but I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you a lovely day. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you again soon.